Hello there, welcome back Taurus. Welcome to the Illust Illuminator. We are going to do the mid-month for July and see what the energies are for you guys. I was getting a very specific message for someone or some of you out there. You are doing a lot of research, you found some kind of a new um, you know, some kind of a new skill to work at and this is something that you are doing all by yourself you might have been like closing yourself off from the outside world doing a lot of research trying to find some answers or like you know searching for the right remedy so to speak and this is something that you want to um you know keep on working at until you master it and then you want to bring it out into the world so this is like a mastery plan that you are working on which is going in a good direction i feel like you have a lot of skills to work at look at that the hierophant here coming up that's your energy so whatever you're doing you're you're searching for something within your soul you you, you want to search for some answers or um some kind of information that you need in order to get this off the ground all right it could be like some even legal matters or contracts that i hear of like maybe you need to be focusing on that as well is what i'm getting but others of you you may have had like something happening in the past that broke your heart and now you are closing yourself off and you know uh, divide like um, dividing yourself into work or like uh, expanding within your field in some kind of way all right so that's what i'm getting for you guys which is right up the batch so let's see we've got the four of cups so some of you find it hard to deal with uh, residue emotions or like an overflow of emotions that you have been dealing with there has been some kind of a rejection this could be like a rejection from a higher force something that had a lot of hierarchy within it and you you felt like you gave a lot of yourself to it but you did not gain uh, any emotional satisfaction from it so for some of you 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 may this may have happened this may be the reason why you are now focusing on another craft right like this might be the reason because the way that the the, the way that Mm, how do I say this? Organizations were put up was not satisfying you and you felt like you were not heard. You were just like one of the people and that could have caused you to go through a deep spiritual awakening. Whereas you found something new to focus on is what I'm seeing here. That's quite deep. <laughs> That's quite deep to start off with. I feel like I'm not sure if every, anyone, everyone can relate to that, but definitely there are those here that will need that message. Where is this? Where is this card? Where are you? And the Three of Cups is here. What are the messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Three of Pentacles. The magician, I told you you were doing something up your sleeve here. Look at that, the magician. The Three of Pentacles. The Temperance. So definitely you are trying to manifest something. You're trying to create something out of this rejection. Or it could even be like some kind of a boredom that you had. Like you were bored with the status quo. That's definitely like, you know something that 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 is related to the hierophant sometimes and you got like very bored with the status quo and you are focusing yourself in creating and dedicating a new synergy here all right there's like a new frequency that you catched up on and you want to put the energy and effort into this in order to create something out of all your knowledge and this new energy that is coming to you. You got the magician energy in the heart of your reading. So whatever you put your mind on, it can manifest. You do need some kind of a collaboration though. I feel like you have been focusing on it on your own, you know, you know, like distracted yourself from the outside world and just like doing a lot of study on it. But there is a need for you to work together or at least get some kind of, uh, um, some kind of information from, there's some kind of information that you need. I cannot, 
tiptoe. Like, I cannot like point out exactly what it is, but you need someone's. You need to partner up with someone in order to fully create this. You cannot completely do this on your own. You have your own skill, you have your own talent here, but there is a need for both energies to come together, which is also representing the Three of Cups, right? So instead of like focusing on what did not work, you need to focus on what does work and you need to express your desires, express your needs and talk with people or just like collaborate with people is what I'm getting here. This is something that you cannot only manifest alone. There is some kind of a hierarchy here. There is some higher force that is pushing you to find the right partner, all right? Find the right partner to collaborate with is what I'm getting here. And that might be like an issue for you. Maybe you do want to go at it at, at your own and you find it hard to trust people or trust companies or trust partners here to four of swords five of pentacles and the three of swords oh okay and you got the six of cups at the bottom of the deck all right so that was that was one thing when it comes to finances and career, but I'm getting here that there is also like a love situation that might be also your main goal. Maybe you want to work together with this individual, but you're colla you, there is like a lot of clashing of ideas and feelings, or you both can make like a very good partner, but there is like a third party that is necessary to, to guide this, project in good shape and form especially if you are um if you are like partners you know what i mean like if this is a love situation and you want to work together there could be a lot of dissatisfaction here all right and there is a there is a synergy that is needed here there is like a huge distance at this point i feel between both of you there is going to be a huge distance as distance as well because one or both of you are going to be experiencing some heartbreak here that needs to be dealt with all right this five of pentacles to the three of swords is definitely like a breakup that is about to happen or some kind of you know a loss that is that that both of you are required to work with in order to actually manifest whatever it is that you both want to manifest it could even be that both of you are manifesting in two different areas but the pain and the hurt and the limitation of this relationship could be a cause of not knowing how to deal with the current situation when it comes to your work or when it comes to the progress that you're making in your professional life you know what I mean? So I hope I did not lose you both, or both, for the cross -watchers. This is definitely a soulmate connection, all right? In the past, this person may have been very independent and doing things on their own, both of you, but I feel like there is this moment of time that is coming in where both of you need to work together. And that's what, what this Hierophant is representing. These can be representing a lot of conflict and not be on the same page sometimes and having like different belief systems. And when rejected emotions come at play, there could be a lack of vision of both of of both of you together and the three of pentacles is indicating that there is work to put on in this relationship as well as the work that you want to do in order to create balance and harmony things need to be moderated here all right so i feel with this that the, the best course of action is to take this break and to really look deep down inside into your heart what is really causing you to have this pain of not trusting this individual or this project and to work on that on your own instead of like acting like nothing is happening and um, 
every time you hear something or you get irritated of something you 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 tend to go into this spiral of like why does this always have to happen to me like why am i always feeling like rejected or left out in the cold why am i being ignored why am i being... so there is something within yourself that you need to work on that is coming from a past life or your past that is still not healed that is the fourth source that is also about resting and healing so you really need to take that time off in order to heal that feeling of always being afraid that someone is going to leave you you know that, that that's kind of like the energy that i'm getting like always being afraid that someone is going to leave you out in the cold they're going to ignore you they're going to block you you're not feeling satisfied and that's because there is something within your heart that needs care love and healing and i want to check what this is Ooh, let's see, what is this Five of Pentacles to the Three of Swords? Because I feel like this is just past energy. Because the Five of Pentacles in this deck, see, Six of Cups, there's a lot of past energy. So it, it might just come back around just for you to take notice of what it is and just focus on it. All right. So the Five of Pentacles in this deck is really talking about the fact that someone needs to show more gratitude instead of saying like, I don't have this, I don't have the resources, I don't have this money, I don't have this love, I don't have these friends, I don't have this. Instead of doing all of that, you need to focus on what you do have and be grateful. This is the Five of Pentacles looking very satisfied of all the things that he has been through. So that is sometimes very, very hard, right? Especially if you are hurting somewhere and someone's um, words can be very stingy and you take it very personal. But this is definitely something from the past. It could be due to a um, Sagittarius. I forgot my own zodiac sign, Jesus could be another Taurus or it could be a Gemini. The Fool, yeah. Before you're going to embark on this new new venture, you really need to release all pain, all expectations that you had, all this um, reject, rejected feelings that you had coming from the past, coming from your friends, coming from your boss, coming from everyone. You need to be strong and capable like this tiger to overcome any adversity that is going to come to you on this new path because this is a new path so before you go towards this new path you first need to go back to whatever this past energy is and release this or heal it in a way that it does not come back to you when someone says something about your product or service that you don't take it too seriously not 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 like that uh, what i mean is like that you don't take it too personally all right that you deal with it as if you would deal with it when you were working for somewhere else somewhere, somewhere else and that you would use your logic instead of your <laughs> You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? That's exactly what I was talking about. You, you you need to use your logic. And this is the same energy I have for Aries. So you have the Aries card as well in the heart of your reading. Aries had the same energy. So perhaps you need to watch, with maybe you, you, you're a cusp, you need to watch the Aries one as well because they had like a similar reading. So using your intellect, using your logic, all right, making decisions out of a compassionate space and making decisions out of a compassionate state. You got even the lovers card. Let's see what else. And the Queen of Swords and the World card. So don't don't. Hmm. This has definitely been a Saturnian lesson for you. Perhaps in the past you jumped in, jumped in the gun with with people to work with that did not turn out the best way for you, and you may have been a bit foolish in that and trusting that some kind of partnership could have gone in the right way, and that is still like holding a blockage within you. This has been a Saturnian lesson for you to learn to not always think with your heart, but also with your logic, but not let any failure 
block you from taking another adventure or taking another risk. You know what I mean? So the, the Queen of Swords at the end is saying that you need to make a clear decision and cut out what is unnecessary here. You got the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So don't wear your heart on your sleeve. The Queen of Cups is someone that can that has a lot of emotion, does things out of emotion, but when it comes to talking, you need to be the queen of swords, all right? You can put your heart into this creation that you're having, but when it comes to communicating this to the outside world, you need to be not too emotionally charged in with this situation, because that's when you can lose. What is for Taurus? You got surrender here. And you got nature. So this is still talking about this area here where you need to surrender to whatever has happened and just solve the issue that is going on within yourself here. Let me see what else. New beginnings and compassion. Yeah. You're very compassionate about this new beginning. That is the King of Cups, very compassionate individual. But the new beginning is also coming. But you first need to surrender. Don't don't work yourself ahead, you know? Like even though you have your whole schedule set up here, you know what to do, you know you know everything about the whole business plan, but before you embark on it, there is still this this loss and misery that needs to be dealt with, all right? That really needs to be healed, healed with. Yes, let me see if I can just pull one of these cards. You got an extra. Guide, see, that's what I stated with this Hierophant. There is someone that you, that you need as a guide or as a mentor or someone that you can trust, all right? In order for, for, for you to um go at it in the right direction so you're gonna have to partner up you're gonna have to confide your secrets or what you want to create with someone that you can trust trustworthy alley trustworthy guide that can help you create something bigger and better all right just one more one more for taurus one more for Taurus. Very interesting energies for those who relate to this. Okay, beautiful. You got quiet time. I think you're already in this quiet time. So you have to think about who this trustworthy ally is and how you are going to deal with this with this uh, aftermath of pain. All right, you got the arts. So express yourself through creative activities. Well, that is definitely magician with a temperance. Temperance is creative energy. Magician creates the energy. So you got peace here. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. So if you have been doubting whether you can work with, with your partner or not and be like the Bunny and Clyde, there is going to be peace for both of you to work on the situation as well. Because I feel like you both need each other here. All right, so thank you so much, Taurus. And I have the he says, she says spread down in the description box below the video on Vimeo. And I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.